Welcome back to another Tabletop Review. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the Tandem Cross Game Changer Pro Compensator or Muzzle Brake for 22 Long Rifle Firearms. A couple of years ago I reviewed a Ruger PC Charger 9mm. During the filming of that range activity I tried out the Tandem Cross Game Changer Pro Compensator for 9mm. Now compared to shooting the 9mm Ruger PC Charger without the compensator, the compensator significantly reduced muzzle rise and helped to obtain quicker target reacquisition and tighter follow-up shop groupings. I was a bit surprised at how easy it was to actually observe that difference. Tandemcross also offers a 22 long rifle version of their 9mm game changer compensator, but muzzle rise on 22 firearms is usually not as significant an issue. Still, Tandem Cross claims their 22 Game Changer Pro will reduce even small amounts of muzzle rise, resulting in quicker target acquisition and higher accuracy. If you're competing, I can see where a compensator might make a difference where milliseconds matter. But what about everyday target shooters like me? And what about on a firearm with very minimal muzzle rise already, like the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport 22 rifle? Would any improvement even be noticeable? As I said, with the 9mm compensator on my Ruger PC charger, I could feel and see the difference. This begs the question, is it possible to simply observe this difference with 22 long rifle firearms at my local range? I've seen demonstrations of the TK-22 compensator using sophisticated measuring equipment, so I know there can be improvement, but can we actually see it through reduced muzzle lift and therefore improve speed and or target reacquisition accuracy? That's the purpose of this video. Preparing for the range, I selected two of my favorite 22 firearms. A Ruger Mark IV 2245 tactical pistol with a 4.4 inch threaded barrel and with its 0.98 ounce threaded protector. In the Smith and & Wesson M&P 1522 rifle with a 16 inch threaded barrel that came with its standard flash suppressor. And we're going to shoot my all round favorite 22 round, the CCI Mini Mag. Now let's make sure these guns are cleared first. By the way, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tandem Cross is an aftermarket firearm parts company located in New Hampshire that manufactures solutions and improvements for popular firearms. Their slogan is, making an already good gun great. You can check out their list of upgrades available on their website at tandemcross.com. By the way, there are obviously other manufacturers of gun compensators. You should check them out before you buy. But I chose Tandem Cross because they have good reviews, great customer service, and offer a hassle-free lifetime guarantee on all their parts. Of course, it helps that I had a good experience with their 9mm compensator. The Tandem Cross Game Changer Pro Compensator for a 22 Long Rifle is a stainless steel compensator that adds weight for better balance and accuracy. This compensator vents gases at 45 degree angles for better visibility, reducing muzzle rise and, at least according to their marketing materials, should provide improved accuracy when moving quickly between targets. At least that's the theory. And yes, the Ruger Mark IV does feel better balanced, and you can plainly see the venting here with the TK compensator attached. The Black Game Changer Pro features a proprietary easy clean coating to make maintenance simpler. The Game Changer Pro is easy to install and fits any standard 1 half by 28 thread barrel. The compensator comes with a heat and chemical resistant O-ring that allows a snug fit and proper alignment. And since not all barrels are the same, a washer kit is also available to help rotate the compensator to get it into the proper timing position if needed. I didn't need washers for the installation on either the rifle or the pistol here. As for specifications, the width or diameter is 0.99 inches, the length is 1.5 inches and the weight is 2.83 ounces. 
Now Tanocross does list out on their website the firearms for which their 22 compensator is compatible and which caliber of ammo. Before you buy, check the list and make sure that the TK-22 compensator is compatible with your gun. Call them if you need more information. The cost for the stainless steel TK Game Changer Pro Compensator for 22 long rifle is $60 and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. TK does offer a squared version for about $10 more and even an aluminum 22 compensator for only about $35. Okay, let's see if the compensator makes a noticeable difference on a pistol or on a rifle. Again, we have the Ruger Mark IV 2245 tactical pistol and we have the Smith & Wesson M&P Sport Model 1522 rifle. And we have CCI Mini Mag Hollow Point 22 long rifle rounds at 1260 feet per second. We're going to fire 10 rounds with and 10 rounds without the compensator each. Both firearms have the same red dot system installed which I theorize should help with controlling some of the human error part of accuracy. And instead of multiple targets, we're just going to try to regain the same center point on the stationary paper targets. I'll try to maintain a fairly quick speed between shots and trials. That should allow us to measure the centering or clustering of shots. Do we see a visible improvement in muzzle rise reduction and do we see an improvement in accuracy? I know we could probably conduct this test with better controls and measurement strategies, but let's see what happens here. As to the range, it's a cold, snowy winter day and I've chosen an old local indoor range for my filming needs. It's a little rough and worn and crude, but the best thing about this particular range is that the owner allows me pretty broad access, so I have access before other customers arrive and, more importantly, I can set my cameras up however I need. He's even helped me with filming several of my reviews in the past. The downside is that the heating is not the best and, as I said, it's a cold day. Also, the furthest target distance is only 50 feet. That limitation could be a problem for testing out the rifle, but let's make the best of it. So here we are at the range and we'll shoot the pistol first because the compensator is already installed. The target is set at 25 feet, which is my normal training distance for pistols. The bullseye target on my left is my first target. The red dot is a little off to the left, but except for two outliers, the rounds are clustered fairly close together. So with the compensator, my accuracy seems pretty good. Now let's try without the compensator. The bullseye on my right is my target. To be fair, if we remove two outliers from both targets and see the difference, there's no doubt my rounds are more widely distributed without the compensator. And when we look at the muzzle rise, we see the compensator does noticeably reduce the rise on the Ruger pistol. Now let's switch to the rifle. We'll start without the compensator installed. The target is now set back to 50 feet, which is the limit of this range. I'm aiming at the center target here, and since the red dot on the rifle is zeroed in at 100 yards, the offset results in the rounds hitting below the center target a bit, but the clustering is quite tight. That was to be expected because the accuracy on this rifle is really excellent. Now with the compensator installed, we'll shoot for the center body target. Note that there are two previous hits on the upper left quarter of the target that should be ignored. I'm sorry about that. So here we see a wider cluster of hits overall compared to without the compensator. Looks bad for the compensator until we just look at the majority of shots, forget the first shot and the seventh, and now we have a much closer cluster. But if we do the same on the target without the compensator, forgetting the second and the third shots, then the difference disappears. And as for muzzle rise, Again, there's very, very little rise on this rifle anyhow, but the reduction, although very small, when using the compensator, is there. You'd expect a, at least a minor benefit in accuracy, but at only 50 feet, I couldn't detect it here. Now before we end today's video, 
I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe down below. And thanks for watching. Okay, so I admit that I could barely tell the difference between with and without the compensator on the rifle at this distance. Now, to be fair, Tandem Cross does acknowledge that the improvements might be slight depending on the weapon, etc. But even with the film evidence, I have trouble concluding that there was any difference displayed in my trials. However, in my opinion, the 50-foot limitation of the range just couldn't allow for true demonstration of the benefits of the compensator. And that's certainly not the fault of the compensator. Perhaps I should have selected a less accurate rifle. As for the Ruger pistol, well, that was a much more obvious situation. I could feel the muzzle lift difference with the compensator, and obviously the target difference was more evident. As I said in other reviews, I don't consider myself a marksman, and I'm not that great with red dot substance, but keeping as many variables controlled as I could, the results were there and demonstrable even to me. So finally, what can I conclude here? Well, my crude test of the Tandem Cross Game Changer Pro Compensator for 22 has convinced me that it delivers as promised with the Ruger pistol. Unfortunately, the jury remains out on its use on a 22 rifle, but I suspect there may be benefits because I can see the muzzle lift reduction, although very slight, with the rifle. Sure, the degree of benefit depends on the weapon, the target, the distance, and probably the shooter skills, but I'm convinced that adding a tandem cross compensator to your 22 can indeed reduce even small amounts of muzzle rise, resulting in quicker target acquisition and higher accuracy of your follow-up shots. But is it worth the $60 price tag? Well, that would depend on the value you put on the improvement you can achieve. And to be honest, I've certainly spent more and gotten less before, so what can I say? For me, when speed and accuracy really matter on multiple shots, multiple target challenges, the Tandem Cross Game Changer Pro 22 Compensator is truly a proven affordable way to give me an edge. And that may be justification enough. Any weapon you carry is better than the one you left at home. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll be back for my next tabletop review. Until next time, stay safe.